Induction Routine induction versus rapid sequence induction. Routine induction is the standard in general anesthesia. However, a rapid sequence induction is indicated in patients at risk of regurgitation or aspiration. RSI uses predetermined doses of induction drugs given in rapid succession to minimize the time patient is at risk for aspiration from the time when they are unconscious without an ETT until the time when the ETT is in and the cuff inflated. No back mass ventilation. Precoid pressure may be applied, although there are some exceptions, trauma to upper airway. Use of rapid onset muscle relaxant. Table 7. Comparison of routine induction versus rapid sequence induction. Step 1. Equipment preparation. Routine induction check equipment, drug suction monitors, prepare an alternative laryngoscope blade and a second ETT tube, one size smaller suction arm. Both routine suck induction and ISI the same first step and the second step, same second step. Pre oxygenation. Denitrogenation 100% oxygen for 3 minutes or 4 to 5 vital capacity breaths reduce risk of hypoxemia during apneic period following induction. Number Step 3 Pre Treatment Agent Routine induction we use uh, agent of choice to blunt uh, physiologic responses to airway manipulation three minutes prior to laryngoscopy. RSI we use agent of choice to blunt physiologic responses to airway manipulation. Uh, if possible, give 3 minutes prior to laryngoscopy but can skip this step in an emergent situation. situation. Emergency situation. Step number 4. Induction agent. Routine induction, we use IV or inhalation induction agent of choice. RSI we use predetermined dose of fasting acting induction agent of choice. Fast acting fast acting induction agent of choice. Step number five muscle relaxants. Routine induction muscle relaxant of choice given after the onset of the induction agent. RSI Predetermine dose of fast acting muscle relaxant, most commonly SCH, occasionally high dose rocuronium given immediately after induction agent. Number six, ventilation, back mass ventilation. RSI do not back ventilate can increase risk of asthma. Step number seven, additional helpful maneuvers, routine induction, laryngeal pressure, apply posterior pressure on thyroid cartilage to improve view of vocal cord as indicated. RSI, traditionally selic maneuver, also known as cricoid pressure to prevent regurgitation and assist in visualization 2 kg pressure with drowsiness 3 kg with loss of consciousness but increasingly omitted step number a intubation routine induction intubate inflate cough confirm ett position 
RSI into bay once paralyzed. 45 seconds after SCH given, inflate cuff confirm ETT position. Cricoid pressure maintained until ETT cuff inflated and placement confirmed. Step number 9 secure routine induction and RSI the same. We are securing ETT and begin manual machine ventilation. Thank you.